Outfittersrating.com. Enter. You've entered Outfittersrating.com. Program engaged. Welcome, Bill. Welcome, Doug. Select this week's adventure. Select species. Buffalo. Select location. Argentina. Select Outfitter. Andriani and Sons Outfitters. Outfittersrating.com TV starts now. Doves and red stags. Argentina has built its reputation as an outstanding hunting destination due in large part to its world-class dove shooting and trophy red stag hunting. But that's not all Argentina has to offer hunters, as Outfitters Rating TV's Doug Hamrick is finding out. Doug is hunting with Andriani and Sons Outfitters, and his longtime friend, Pablo Andriani, has a special adventure in store for Doug. We are operating on the uh, San Luis province in Argentina, which is uh, kind of in the center part of uh, San Luis, this area, this region. We are about 500 miles uh, northeast from uh, Buenos Aires, which is the capital from Argentina. This ranch is about 150,000 acres. Uh, so it's very large and we do have a lot of species uh, to hunt on the big game and also we offer mixed bag of, of bird hunting uh, too. It's a great, a great place and it's, and it's uh, pretty big um, so we can offer uh, pretty much uh, everything that, that the Argentina has to offer. The first part of the trip was a huge success. Doug has already taken a trophy red stag, the main reason he came to Argentina. Look at that big son of a gun. But Pablo has also guided him to a great fallow buck. What a trophy. While not as prominent as Argentina's stag hunting, it was a heart-pounding fun pursuit in its own Good right. Job again. I'm stoked. This is, this is beautiful. The guys have a few more days of stag hunting left, as Doug plans to help out Pablo by taking a management animal. After that, it's off to pursue an animal Doug has never hunted before, the Asiatic water buffalo. Similar to the Cape buffalo, these creatures are huge, with bulls going well over a ton. They can be territorial, and on the ranch Doug is hunting, they are 100% free range and very wary. While eager to start his buffalo hunt, Doug would never pass up a few more days of hunting red stag. We have the red stag in here, uh, which is, can compare with the body size. Uh, it's a little smaller, but it can compare with the elk uh, on North America. The, the elk, of course, uh, we know there's a high pitch uh, bugle, and the red stag that has that deep, deep roar, which is uh, can communicate uh, along these dense woods, and they, they do it totally different, which is the elk they do. Uh, they gather to the roar, what we call the roar, the brahma, and that's what we see in, in, in especially in this uh, large ranch in here, which is uh, they all roaring, and, they do a big gather, and which is pretty excited, uh, exciting time uh, to be around during the run. When we're trophy hunting, the management bulls get in the way. Now we're management hunting, and the trophy bulls are in the way. Well, the stag it was introduced in Argentina in the early 1900s, about 1912, uh, which is about 200 miles uh, southeast uh, from here, from this region. 
they adapted so well uh, to this area because the dense woods uh, that we have. And so in free range, uh, you see some really great trophies and also some management uh, stacks that we, uh, we like to take, uh, you know, opportunity to have um, to hunt those uh, as well. Doug is having a great time hunting with Pablo. While searching for a management animal, they see and hear dozens of big stags. Doug has already taken a great trophy. So seeing the quality and quantity present here has been a real treat. But there are so many trophy class stags, he and Pablo are having a bit of trouble finding a management animal. The guys continue their pursuit when Outfitters Rating TV returns. Outfitters Rating TV is brought to you by OutfittersRating.com. Trust, but verify. EuroOptic.com, the source for premium firearms and optics. Outdoor Dream Foundation, making dreams come true. Kamir Deer, the revolutionary deer attractant. And by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Outfittersrating.com will change the way you look at outfitters and charters. Outfitters, if you do what you say you do and run a quality business, it's a no-brainer. It's free, it's quick, and it's simple. Hunters and fishermen, now you have the resources to verify you get what you pay for. All you have to do is visit the outfitter testimonials on the site and you'll understand why you want to be here. Outfittersrating.com. Trust, but verify. Pablo Andriani of Andriani and Sons Outfitters has just about everything you could want in an Argentina hunting adventure. His hunting territory is vast, over 150,000 acres. The lodging, food, and service are first class. And the number and quality of animals is impressive. Doug Hamrick has hunted with Andriani and Sons several times. Each and every time, Pablo and his staff deliver an experience well beyond expectations. Doug has already taken two animals during this hunt. Now, he and Pablo are in pursuit of a management stag. Pablo hails from an Argentinian tree climbing clan. He's trying to spot these bulls that are roaring out over the lip. And they're really talking this morning. Pablo, one of our sponsors sent down extra like a glass. If you'd have told me, I wouldn't have had to bring these. No, sorry, Doug. <laughs> yes, I do like the Jewish, uh with a rangefinder. It's just great, and um, I need actually a couple for my my guys. I like to sit in. Yeah, with. Euro Optics, one of our sponsors. I actually buy all my personal stuff from those guys. Oh. Alex Roy, I'll get him set up. You right. like it? Yeah, great, good stuff. Appreciate it. Good job. Man, he come out perfect right there, didn't oh, yeah. he? And this is a typical fork. Never and they'll never get that third crown. crown or more. Never. And you see how he is an older stag, the color, how wide it is and big. It's not, a, uh, he's probably seven, eight year old. Good to eat, fun <laughs> to hunt, even in the rain. Yeah. Make a nice shot. Doug's stag hunt has come to its successful conclusion. Now, he and Pablo turned their attention to a pursuit of a much larger variety, Asiatic water buffalo. 
They are massive, free-ranging, and extremely wary. There's no high fence. It's all on free range. Uh, they are fence that will not do any good. Uh, and the area where they are is a very large area uh, for this ranch, um, where they are taken over by them. And there's a lot of water, water holes. Uh, with rain, that area gets flooded, and they love it. Uh, buffalo, they are well, well, well uh, adapted to that area. Um, also, it's a very thick uh, brush where they like to be there. They feel protected and, and safe. So it's a, it's a great area to hunt in there, very wild. I would say the 1,800 pounds uh, for the cows. And then the, the buffalo, the males, they are over a ton easy and then those they live in a herd in different types of herd they are no bunch all together uh, they live in different small groups with a dominant male sometimes uh, there will be two or three small uh, males in that but it's a big bull who just uh, protects the herd Probably the biggest surprise on this trip was the buffalo. Uh, I have friends that have hunted them. I've seen them before. I really didn't expect it to be that exciting. I thought they're a big cow, big Asian cow. You get in on them, you shoot them, and they hit the ground. That was not the case this week. Now that Doug has gotten a closer look at this giant animal, he can't wait for the next stalk. See what happens when Outfitters Rating TV returns. Andriani and Sons Outfitters, folks, good people, great place, great accommodations. The hunting was fabulous. Know what you're going to get before you come. Outfittersrating.com. Look these outfitters up, then travel the world with confidence. It started as a service to help hunters find reputable outfitters. Now, OutfittersRating.com is taking its program to the next level. Book your next outfitted hunt or fishing charter with OutfittersRating.com. Book with confidence. OutfittersRating.com. You want to supercharge your corn, grain, or protein pellet? Try new Khmer Deer Corn Coat. Whatever you treat, the deer will eat. And corn coat is so simple to mix. You just pour it in and shake it up. We have had some absolutely amazing results by using Khmer Deer Corn Coat. You've got to try it. Khmer Deer. In my business, you're only as good as your gear. And nothing I carry gets more use than my optics. From my binoculars, to my rangefinder and spotting scope, I trust one brand. I'm Ivan Carter, and that brand is Leica. Eurooptic.com specializes in premium European optics and firearms. Visit Eurooptic.com for the complete lineup of Leica products. Book your next outfitted hunt or fishing charter with confidence. Outfittersrating.com. Thousands of outdoorsmen are using our service to find the right outfitter. Now, trust Outfittersrating.com to book your next adventure. Book with confidence. Outfittersrating.com. Doug Hamrick really wasn't sure what to expect coming into this hunt for Asiatic water buffalo. His guide, Outfitter Pablo Andriani, promised an adventure, and he has delivered. So far, the pursuit has been a challenge, but also lots of fun. You know, they looked a lot like uh, Cape Buffalo in there. Um, what are the different characteristics of these to a Cape Buffalo? 
well, they are, they are bigger in size. And then the horns are totally These different. are bigger, the Asian right. ones are bigger. The Asian, yeah. yes. And then they have different characters. But some, they just go straight out like this and they kind of curl up a little bit. Where the cows, it's just the females that tend to curl around. And some of the bulls are a little bit cool. But so they get very heavy and they're bigger, bulky, like a helmet. The enormous size of these animals are unbelievable. I've hunted the Cape, uh, we've seen the American bison, we know these things are just gigantic. They said they can get up 26, 2800 pounds and they're just big muscle bruisers. We chased and we chased hard. These things got in the thick stuff, they're in the swamps and the thorny bush. Uh, it was an exciting hunt. Asiatic uh, buffalo. Sometimes in here for the Argentina to come up and hunt is a misconception of, uh, you know, if they are a tame animal versus a pretty wild. This in here, because the size of this uh, ranch and the way they are um, on the wild and a very thick brush and, uh, and the water and they are left alone, they are very, very wild. And they are aware of people and as soon as you step in their territory, they get uh, protective and they just uh, go for cover and brush, and, uh, which is very challenging uh, to hunt them. It's not a, an easy hunt, and, uh, but it's, it's very challenging, but it's very, very, very exciting too. Hey, we've had to change tactics. We've had torrential downpours for the last two days. The water level's up. These buffalo like to lay in the bottoms and it's deep right now. So we put the truck away. Pablo got the horses out. We're getting tacked up and we're gonna go in after them. You know, that's an important aspect when you're looking at an outfitter. Do they have good equipment, one? And do they have the availability to go with different tactics, be it trucks, four-wheelers, snowmobiles, or horses in this case? Make sure those outfitters are prepared, not only for you, but for anything that the weather or the season can throw at them as well. It appears Doug has taken his first water buffalo. Find out what happens when Outfitters Rating TV returns. At EuroOptic.com, we provide only the finest optics and shooting products available, including night vision and thermal vision monoculars, goggles, and weapon sights from brands you trust like Benelli, EOTech, Saco, and Night Force. So the next time you're looking for quality optics or firearms, call us at 570-220-3159 or visit us at eurooptic.com. Recently, a series of grueling tests were conducted to show the performance of today's top broadheads. Test one, durability. Swacker shows its toughness. Test two, Penetration crushes this shoulder blade, cutting 18 inches deep. Test three, 
Extreme angles. Swacker dominates the quartering shot. See how the Swacker performed in all the tests at Swacker.com. Outfitters Rating TV is brought to you by OutfittersRating.com. Trust, but verify. Eurooptic.com, the source for premium firearms and optics. Swacker, broadheads that open so fast you can hear the swack. Allegheny Industries, the leader in wireless installation and service. And by Leica. Doug Hamrick has hunted multiple species all around the world. The thrill of the hunt, the respect for the animals pursued, the bonds with the people he's hunted with. Each hunt is memorable. But for any hunter, there is something undeniably special about the first time a new species is hunted. Doug had no idea what was in store when he and outfitter Pablo Andriani first set out on this pursuit of Asiatic water buffalo. Now that the hunt has come to its successful end, he's thrilled with the experience and the result. Holy smokes. What a monster. Look at this This is probably body size. This is a lot bigger than the cape. Buffalo. Whoa. It's so white. Look how white it is. Why didn't you tell me before how fun this was? Well, you say, well, Buff, yeah. I did. I was like, oh, OK, I'm coming up the stag. Stag hunting's phenomenal. Stag hunting's out of this world. This is uh, this is the topper for me for this, this trip. I wild, think it is. Why as it can be. After taking a trophy stag, a beautiful fallow buck, and a giant water buffalo, you might think Doug's pursuit is over, but it is Argentina after all, and Pablo won't let Doug leave before spending some time wing shooting. Normally, that would mean doves, but Pablo has something else in mind. Hey, close, buddy. Yeah, nice shot. Now, what are these? This is a martineta. It's a call, and it has that little right hood. So this is a perdiz. Give it some there. It has a little lighter color and a lot bigger, and they have, see this hood. Mm -hmm. Different martineta. This is closer to our roughneck grouse. Right. So it's a lot bigger in size compared with this other one. Pretty. Really good eating this one. It's a lot of fun. Can we do that again? <laughs> Overshot her both times. First shot. Pretty. Good job. Beautiful birds. Another hunt that we incorporate to our hunts is uh, the mixed bag of, of, of uh, bird hunting, which is an upland birds uh, with different species to hunt. Uh, we do it by flashing, walking, or also we use uh, dogs, whatever way uh, the hunter will prefer, uh, we provide it, and it's a nice area with the large crops. Upland birds is not the first thing you think about when you think of Argentina. It's usually doves. Right. But wow, what a fabulous fun. And we jumped a lot of these today. Right. Yeah, we come only hit a couple of them, but we jumped a bunch of them. We have fun, yeah. Uh, and you yeah, have about four different species to go right. after. Right. Today They're all mixed, same areas. Right. Today we just got two different species. So. We're gonna get to eat these. Yes. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Yeah. We still have a few more minutes yeah, left. A couple more minutes of daylight left. Beautiful sunsets here in Argentina. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Time does fly when you're having fun. Finishing up another week here in beautiful Argentina, folks. It's ending just like it started. Beautiful bluebird day. Pablo Andriani and Sons Outfitters did a fabulous job. Everything was outstanding.
again, we knew what we were going to get before we came. Make sure to utilize the service. Know what you're going to get from your outfitter. Go and have a fabulous time. Until next week for another big game adventure on Outfitters Rating TV, we hope to see you in the field. Thank you.